Gentlemen, behold! You can see Colony 9 down there! No, seriously, seriously, you can. That's Colony 9. Remember back in episode 3 when, when like, at the beginning I told you to look up? Yeah, you could actually see the path that we are standing on in Colony 6. Yeah, that's the path. Hada! Either way, hello there everybody, this is Siwap the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles! So, last time, we helped out some Nopon at the Bionis Leg, and we moved on here to Colony 6, where we of course helped out another Nopon, and we got some top secret data, we're gonna remember that for later. So today, we're just gonna beat, we're just gonna go right into it, let's go to Ethermine, but before we do that, I wanna show you something. See? Right here. Apparently, your AI is so dumb that they can just stand on the water except for you know Ryan and Charlie because they're they're a bunch of dykes and like you know they can't necessarily see crap but you can put your you can put your partners in such a position in, in such a position that they'll fall off the bionis all the way down there yeah all the way down there that's like death right there but either way uh I just wanted to mention that I'm probably not gonna do that because I always time let's go to the ether mine let's go and here we are, the drainage tunnel. First stop on our journey through the ether mine to save Juju. Which, by the way, not even the greatest Xenoblade fans like Mr. Mr. Conroy of of Sir Train <laughs> does not like or finds annoying. Well, personally, for me, I think Juju is kind of eh. <laughs> why? Why wish I'd be talking about him, talking bad about him when I'm when I'm like trying to save him? I do not know, but. What I do know is that there's platforming, and we find a charcoal leg. Yes. So the ether mine right here pretty much is another area entirely, meaning there's a whole different collectopedia entirely as well. Here we have the drainage control room, and hey, let's talk to you. Yes, no. Yes, no. This mine very complicated. It's it's so easy to get lost, but you don't have to worry. You just have to follow a glow moss on wall like marker and go inside. Or we can just follow the great arrow in the sky, of course. But, more importantly, we have a shop here from this Nopon merchant. Pretty much just like the shop um, at Colony, at, uh, Colony 6. Uh, near Colony 6, I should say. Um, you'll be able to find certain equipment that uh, is uh, just basically the same as you would, except probably at a lower price. But, of course, you can have all these art books here. They're pretty much the same art books that you found um, earlier, but... Hmm. We have an art called Shield Bash. Hmm. I don't think we've learned that yet, actually. I do not know. What I do know is, in about 12 meters or 12 inches or 11 meters or whatever, we have a bit of a cutscene ahead. Guys! Kill the noise! A Macaron. I can't believe they've taken the mine, too. That means the Defense Force and residents are... Oh, no. Juju! Keep it together, Sharla. Don't start panicking now. Ryan! You said yourself they can't have seized the entire area, right? I bet you they're holed up someplace safe. Juju is alive, and we're gonna find him. That's why we're here. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. It'll be fine. Ryan. Shulk. Thank you. Well, it's up. what else is new? We got Mechon to deal with. So why don't we just get this whole thing started? Now, pretty much just like Tefra Cave, uh, it is a bit of a cave area, so the, of course there are going to be closed walls and all that sort of junk. But, unlike Tefra Cave, of course, with this being named the ether mine there are there are going to be ether deposits everywhere and I have been kind of lacking in that department unfortunately so you know what I'm gonna do that but why don't we take care of this scout unit first so pretty much the scout units I forgot to mention this when we were fighting them uh, when we were going to get to attempt to save Juju the first time um, pretty much 
you don't want them to go ahead and warn Mechon because they do do that. Yeah, so you're going to want to destroy them as soon as you can. But, yes, this is the Ether Mine. There's going to be a whole bunch of Mechon here, obviously. And, of course, when you get spotted by an enemy, you can't necessarily get anything. And, of course, the walls are going to be cramped in here. So, you know what? We're going to take care of this guy. And we're going to kick his ass. Before I get that Ether Crystal deposit. Alright, so we dealt with that. And we got a Rusty Part S because of that. So, of course, I want to get these Ether Crystal deposits. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I've been la I've been sort of lacking on getting Ether Crystals. Um, it's not my fault, I swear. <laughs> I mean, it is totally my fault, but you but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. Just, I've been kind of lazy with that. Yeah. So, I want to get... I just want to get all the Ether Crystal deposits whenever I can. So that I can at least have some sort of variety with that. Because there are plenty of types of Ether Crystal deposits, like... The fire ones are mainly used for, like, you know, stuff like strength up or something like that. Yeah. All sorts of stuff like that. And, of course, sometimes there's going to be dead ends here. Oh, Materia, Crabble, level 24. Nope. Nope. Staying away. But what I do want to do is go over here. And if you do so, you will find this pretty location. This is... The Glomoss Lake secret area. Elegant Marin level 29. Uh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Glomoss Lake contains a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> it contains a whole bunch of stuff for you to get, including more Ether Crystal deposits. So, of course, we're going to want to farm them as much as we can. This is actually a good location for you to get some item orbs because, again... There are pl there are uh, either either mine has its own collectopedia page, so you want to get you want to go back there as much as you can. How do you do so? Well, I should probably explain that. So item orbs won't respawn unless a certain amount of time has passed, or you can just go ahead and save your game, reset the game from the Wii. You don't have to re you can't reload your save file because. Look right here, there is a load option. Um, you have to save the game, reset your game, re wait, save your file, reset the game from the home menu, go back to the title screen, and then click your file that way. So that you have more of a chance to spawn um, uh, item orbs. So, let's go over here. An ether rifle. Gado! Charlotte, wait! Gado! I know that voice. Medic, is that you? Atharon! That's our cue, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And there's your thumbnail for the video, kids. <laughs> Alright, so... Hey! Hey! I wasn't ready yet! I was not ready yet! So you know what? We're gonna kill you. Of course. I don't even know how this constitutes as a boss fight, because, well, it's just a whole bunch of mechon in our way. Yeah. But just remember the tactics that, you know, you should be knowing at this point. Uh, you know, just try to focus your efforts on one of them at a time. That's probably the best way you want to go about this this particular fight is just to focus your efforts on at least one of them at a time yeah like that and if you don't remember how to do that just hold ZR and press one of the control one of the control pad options and just press up it's as simple as that anyway uh, the reason why I'm spamming enchant I probably sh should have mentioned this is that I'm not doing it to reset the timer on the enchant I'm doing it to extend it so, yeah, now we have a lot more time to be enchanted by the Monado. Alright, so this is the last one. Let's take it down! Medic, why are you here? Sir, isn't Gado with you? Uh, 
<sighs> we have much to discuss. You'd better come with me. Sir. So, Juju has been taken by the bronze-faced one. Sir, what about Gado? Gado is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Gado and I planned a surprise attack to set everyone free. But we failed. Miserably. When I woke, Gado was nowhere to be seen. Only his rifle remained. But he is alive. I can feel it. We may not be joined by blood, but he's like a son to me. I'd know if he were dead. Oh. Some of the people in Colony 9 got eaten. Ryan! Sorry. I forget I said that. They don't kill Homs right away. If that bronze-faced one took him, we still have some time left. Are you sure? Boy. That blade was once Dunban's. I'm not sure why you have it, but we're going to need its full power. You can count on me. We're heading for the Central Pit. It's where they take all the Homs they kidnap. If Juju's alive, that's where he'll be. Gather your things, we're moving out. Say something, Shulk. No, no. It's nothing. Forget it. Well, with Charla learning a skill, we got a vision that this Atharon could be in danger. Well, I guess we'll prepare for it when it happens. And, uh, not to break anything, but, uh, this way, I, uh, I kind of get lost in it. <laughs> um, as you can see here, we got a heart-to-heart -heart here. But it requires white affinity between Shulk and Sharla. Yeah, we're gonna view that later. So, for right now, let's just go over here to this way. And, uh, it looks like we got a little bit of a, a straggler here. A little bit of a straggler. Or not, okay. Now, uh, what's really weird about this place is that they don't really put out item orbs here. That's the only item orb, the black chip. Uh, of course that would be random, but... What? Huh. Okay. Okay, I got a little confused for a moment. Um, I thought that dot on the map was an enemy of some sort. It's like, oh, we got All the mech on aren't even dead yet. What the heck? Okay. So anyway, let's keep on going. Hurry it up, slow coach. What's wrong? Jojo! Gado! This is for you! What can it mean? This is for you. Is Juju already dead? Or is he going to be killed? Is that why Atharon... But then, what does that mean? If we keep moving, is Atharon really going to die? No! What's wrong, Shulk? This battle is for my people. If you can't handle it, drop that weapon and head home. That's not it. I... It's just that... 
Out with it! Listen, maybe we shouldn't just rush in head first. What? We got this far. I think we should observe them and plan our attack afterwards. You insolent! We don't have that kind of time! You don't know a damn thing about these machines. I have observed their movements. I've planned this attack for a month! I know full well what's going to happen to my brothers and sisters. It's just... We're going! Fall in, medic! Sir, what's got into you? I... A vision again. Don't tell me, another death. Yeah, I knew it. The shulk I know doesn't just chicken out for any old reason. This vision, was it like before? Kind of. I saw an underground ether river. And a Tharon. Hmm. An ether river. You know what? That sword lets you see the future. All that power, and you still keep getting it wrong. Better to use my brain than my fists. Shulk, I may rush in head first, but at least my head's useful for something. Okay, okay, I get the idea. I ain't done yet. You're useless on your own, Shulk. That's why we're here. Ryan, I... Next time you have a vision, you tell us. We bear the burden together as a team. Ah. You have a vision you don't like, we'll change the future together. Got it? Got it. What was that? Say it like you mean it. I got it, all right. Next time I'll tell you. He's right, Shulk. You two saved Juju once before. I know we can do it again. I believe in you. Thanks. They're right. We'll change what happens. Anyway, I didn't see Juju and the others dying. There's still hope. Well, we gotta keep going without a Thoron, that's for sure. So many people often agree at that cutscene that, uh, it was kind of sort of a turning point for the characters. Or at least, or at the very least, Shulk. And we can't view that heart to heart yet. Uh, most people agree that it's a turning point the for, uh, the cutscene. Or, like, the characters, excuse me. <laughs> and why am I not enchanting? Like, uh... Many people thought it would be, like, kind of sort of a repetitive thing that's, that would happen in the story. Like, you know, Chalk has a vision of, of a person dying. Uh, he would be afraid to tell at first, but then he told but then he told him. All that stuff. And third time this happened, Ryan said, you know what? Screw it. You tell the vision and blah, blah, blah. And we'll do the thing. So, it's a pretty nice change of pace, I guess. Nice change of pace there. But anyway, uh, electric ether deposit right here. So let's do that. Okay, so now here's the point where things start to get kinda sorta complicated. Or at least kinda sorta complicated to get to where we need to go. But over here, we have a huge ether crystal deposit and we got these drunk fangs, including this unique monster, Dark Kissling. I'ma fight it, Everyone, like an idiot. And it's a sound type enemy, so yeah. If you want to get if you want to get the ether crystal deposit, just you know, don't freaking make a sound at all. Just don't. Thankfully, these aren't a mechon esque fight, so yeah, that's good. Come on, we're almost through a chain tag. We're almost through a chain tag. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, baby. Stream edge. Then. We have the Wild Down! And then, Sharla! Metal Blast! As if we can't do anything else. And then, Dazed with Shulk! Boosh! And, ooh! Happy Feet! Alright, so... Uh, sword Try. Oh! Oh! That ain't Falco! Alright, so, uh... Hmm. Thunder Bullet, it's Flying Enemy. Wobble Combo! All right, all right, let's do it. Uh, 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 what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ooh, we can use a wild card. Uh, Manado's, Manado arts count, your talent arts count as a wild card, so meaning they can be any color. So let's do it. Manado Buster. Ho oh, ho, Wombo Combo. That was awesome. That was so cool. 
Oh my god. Okay, you know what the best feeling about this uh, battle system is? Getting a Wombo Combo Chain Attack. Just, oh my god, it's such an awesome feeling. Seriously. <laughs> and we got Fire It Up. Awesome. As an achievement. So, yeah. Gonna see you when I beat these uh, guys. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> that... That chain attack was so good, I swear to god. <laughs> oh man, we still got the Materia Crabble though, so yeah, but more importantly than that, huge fire ether crystal deposit. So yeah, next time I craft some gems, I'm gonna definitely, definitely take advantage of that. So I'm just gonna mine this right here, and now, ooh! That sound means we got a rare fire crystal, so that is automatically good and awesome and awesome. Um, speaking of which, um, there are actually, ooh, right here, we got an ice ether crystal deposit. Gee, I'm all, I'm all about them ether crystal deposits here. Yeah, surely makes up for, you know, my missing out on, uh, ether crystals in Tefra Cave. Yeah, they can appear as early as Tefra Cave, by the way, the ether crystals deposits. So, yeah, where do I go? <laughs> oh my god, I, I got lost. Holy crap. But, uh, we did run into Test Pit 4, so that's good. Oh, and wah! That's the two ready coils. They might come in handy for rebuilding Colony 6. I don't know what, all about this stuff. This is more Shulk's thing. Rebuilding Colony 6, eh? Interesting. Here we got the observation point, which is exactly where I need to go, actually. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and shoot, show the view- shoe. Um, I'm not gonna show the whole view of this area quite yet, because this is where the central pit is. So, you know what? I'm gonna leave it all up in the air for you guys. I'm just gonna, you know, shoot it in the wall. I'm just gonna keep the camera focused on the wall. That's totally not criminal on me at all, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. And now I get arrested <laughs> for keeping a view from you guys. Anyway, uh, you do... Ow. Great. Uh, yeah, now is the point where, you know, someone could potentially get lost in all this. Uh, we have all these colony lizards, colony upas here, and... Okay. Vision. Third, love crane. So, we're gonna need love cranes for someone named Peppa. Peppa Pig Naskit. Anyway, how do I know that? Well, only the baked mind of me will know. Vengeful Dalton. Taking it on because I'm winging it! I'm winging it! Yes, we did. Alright, so let's see. We got Bloody Roar, a unique weapon. We got Journey Diadem and a large Upa Crystal. So uh, now's the point where unique monsters, I think, will drop level 2. Uh, or rank two, I should say. Rank two ether crystals. So, yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Oh my god, I keep on getting lost. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with me, man? What the hell's wrong with me? Um, I do think we have to jump this. Hopefully I do. Because that is the way to go. Yeah, see, this is the- yeah, see, this is kind of sort of confusing. Like, seriously. <laughs> I... Uh, like, every single time I play this, I keep getting lost. Oh, here it is. Right there. Alright. Cool. So with that, I'll keep the view all up in the air for you as we enter... The Central Pit. We're here. The Central Pit. Where are they all? I don't see anyone. We'll take that lift. I'm ready to mash some mech on. Yeah. Juju, a Tharon, just hold on. Do you realize, Shulk, with that line you just said, uh, Juju, a Tharon, hold on. You were talking to Sharla, right? 
Welcome to the Central Pit. Not entirely a new area because it is still part of the ether mine technically. But look at this area. This is where you would have found that huge view should I have swung the camera around and let you look at the central pit. And just to give you a clever idea of how far down we have to go, we can jump down here. And hopefully I won't die. There we go. Heh. <laughs> yeah. We could just jump down. Normally you have to take the elevator, but nope. We have jumping. Jumping is cool. But, uh, again, to give you a certain idea of how far we have to go down. I lived a life. We <laughs> Woohoo! Ah, God, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm sorry. Yep. Should we have landed a few feet further, we would have entered the boss fight right away. But, of course not. Nope. That'd be too easy. <laughs> so, yeah, we have to go down there. Screw you, elevator. I have jumping. And platforming. Because we can do that. And also, time transitions are BS in this one, because... Stuff. Anyway, of course, you want to be playing as Shulk, because, well, of course, you're gonna have mech on. So, get away from my ether crystal deposit, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Right, so we got a generic shaft, a large ether cylinder, and a small fire cylinder, so that's nice. Wanna get this when then we got another rare crystal? Holy crap. That's gonna be a... That's gonna be a big one, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be a big... Nope. Not fighting you. I am not fighting you. I want to run away from you. Yeah, thankfully there are not any sort of required battles during your trek through the ether mine. Technically. There are gonna be some, but at most, uh, there's not gonna be any. So you can just basically run past these mechon. Um, if you do indeed want the experience, go right ahead. You'll pretty much be kinda sorta overleveled when it comes to that, but at least you'll be prepared for what is to come. At least you How did you? Okay. How did that mechon see me? How did how did it see me? I was like uh I was like at the upper floor thing. How did how did how did, how? How, Ether Pebble, how? Tell me, Ether Pebble, how did you do that? How it do? Okay, in all seriousness, though. Um, so, I want to talk about something. Do you remember that cutscene where, uh, a Thorn was, you know, flashing back to, you know, him and Gato, like, talking or whatever, or planning out the attack to save Colony 6 people? Well, I did indeed stream that part, but, uh... My friend Blake decided to play some music. It was funny, yeah, but it was a cutscene, man. It was a cutscene. Come on, man. I'm not supposed to do that. No, just kidding. Just kidding. You can do whatever you like, just so long as it's not any important cutscene, because otherwise I'll break it. No, just kidding. Just kidding. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemies, believe you me. No. No. Just no. 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 Anyway, another ether crystal deposit right here, so you might as well go ahead and get it, as well as a treasure chest, because I've been lacking on those as well. I gotta get more treasure- I gotta get more, like, treasure chests, man. You guys have no idea. Seriously. Um, we can't jump down there, and we can't- Hmm, can I? Yeah, I can. Cool. So, we might as well go ahead and jump down here. We got personnel lift 2. Actually, it's a landmark, so we can skip travel to that. And actually, can we discover the, the, the first personnel lift? Because I don't think we did. Oh, it's not a location. Alright. <laughs> Alright, back to that because that was pointless. Uh, let's go down. And, uh, sorry Ryan, you're gonna have to go off and fight those mechas on your own. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so, let me just put the, put the AI in that simply. The AI is... Hilarious outside of battle. I already went. I already mentioned this before, but in the central pit, just the AI when going on the elevators, it's just, it's just. Oh my god! You're not gonna find more hilarious AI in any other game. Period. Just saying. Just gonna say this right now. But uh, yeah, 
We're gonna keep on going through here in the uh, center. Mystery Firefly. All right. All right, so funny story about this particular area. Uh, so I was a dingus on my first playthrough and I didn't do quests, so yeah, I had to fight those mech on in order to get stronger because, you know, I always thought, ah, uh, this is like an RPG where you have the option to do quests or just to do usual, just to do, do you know, technical grinding. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna fight these guys. And I had trouble. Like, so much trouble, you don't even know. Technically, you can fight these mech on, but honestly, if you're going about the way I'm doing it and just doing quests to level up, and you're at level 25 at this point, there really is no need to fight them. I mean, sure, you get, you get a little bit of experience, yeah, but still. But still, that means you have to fight them. You're gonna have to fight them, man. Also, the enemies had kept on going, and I climbed up this wall. They will just stop attacking, yeah. It's a little bit of a quirk, but when you climb up on walls in this game, when you climb up on walls, somehow the enemies will stop attacking you. So yeah, that's a bit weird, like, oh no, he's climbing, Better give, we better give up, doopy doopy doop. <laughs> it's really weird, but hey, I guess it's a valid, valid you know, tactic to uh, do if you're just trying to get item orbs. And you know what? Screw you guys, I'm fighting you. Okay, amazingly enough, those mechon didn't even attack, attempt to attack us. Uh, attack. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, um, if you look pretty closely at those mechon carrying those things, uh, the transport units, they are actually carrying rocks containing ether, so that's a bit of a cool detail that you might skim over, but unless you skim over that detail, you're a bit of, you're a bit of a nearsighted, but eh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe you didn't notice that detail the first time playing through, but if you do look closely, they are actually carrying stuff that they need. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, uh, I see we got the third Love Crane, I think. I think we did. So, we're pretty much good on Love Cranes because, again, we're going to need them for the future. We got the Regulation Piston. And, of course, we have an elevator in Xenoblade. What do we want to do? We want to jump on it as soon as we can. Yep. Because, unfor because unfortunately, this is not like one of those elevators where it's like, oh, you had to press a button. No, it just, it's just a regular piston. It just jumps up and down. It just goes up and goes down, you know? It just does. But uh, I think this is the way we need to go, though. So, and hopefully I don't die. I didn't die. And, uh, right here? I'm guessing over here I need to go. Or maybe this is just an extra area. Who who knows? And who cares? I just wanna... Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. You can, you can attack me if you want. I don't care. I don't care. Just so long as I get that ether crystal deposit that's, like, down there. Whee! I can skip past you enemies. Yay! Hooray for cheating! So anyway, now we got that ether crystal deposit, so... I believe now it's the time we get back to that regulation piston thing. What do we say? I do think we have to go down. I do think we have to go down, though. I believe that's the way we do indeed need to be at place. Because where we're heading is down, and where we're, he where we're not heading is up. So, let's do it. Yeah, didn't even need to do that. Yeah. This card thing, and... Really? Guys. Guys. <laughs> but, uh, we've been doing this long enough, so I think we're gonna stop here. Yeah, like I said, these episodes are gonna be long. Deal with it. Because it's a long game, man. It's a long game. <laughs> so, next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles... We're going to continue our journey down the central pit, and we are hopefully going to find some trace of that Mechon face thing that took Juju, and possibly other Colony 6 people. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.